Hey everybody, Mr. Palmer's here with the, this is the uh, Skyhawk uh, H301S. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know if you can see the screen, but I'm going to hold it up here. I actually just, uh, I just flew it. Uh, I didn't have my uh, GoPro on. Uh, it's a handful, you know, I'm new to flying it. Uh, it's very windy today. I, I almost didn't fly it at all, but I did get some video of flying around. I just want to show this screen here. Of course she's sitting but you can see this has uh, this camera sends uh, video to my transmitter and it also gives me telemetry it gives me how many satellites it gives me distance from home point uh, it gives me altitude all that good stuff now it is a kind of a small screen so and as bright as it is today I was not really concentrating I was flying line by sight as I do my quads uh, I'm just not good enough yet to fly off the screen but that's the intention of this uh, Hubson H301S is to fly via the screen. This has a one kilometer video distance range and I have seen on YouTube fellows fly this. I think Archangel AC out of Europe has flown this over three kilometers away. I mean that's that's pretty incredible for a ready-to-fly aircraft. Uh, again that's the Hubson H301S I do not get compensated for when I mention these aircraft I I just love the hobby uh, so you can figure out where to purchase them Banggood there's various uh, sources on where to purchase this in fact I purchased this off eBay off I believe a domestic seller here in the States got a good good price on it they're about they can run up to $350 but uh, anyway uh, yeah unfortunately you won't see any video for my uh, GoPro, but the video on board the camera, or the onboard camera I'll show now, the, the, the video that I will show you from this will not have the tele telemetry. The tel telemetry only shows up on my, again, if you can see it, my screen right here. Here, maybe this is better. <laughs> if you can see the screen, I'm trying to point it at the GoPro. Uh, but this tells me I have 10 satellites, so if I were to fly this and got in trouble, Theoretically, you can see an RTH return to home. I flip that switch up. It's supposed to fly it back in the area. It doesn't land it. It's not like a quad. It just flies in a general area. Then, then it'll go into stabilized mode. It'll return home. Will kick off. And you have to take manual control. This also has lights. Now I went ahead and hit the lights. And as you can see, it has lights. So I didn't uh, be good for night. I'm going to turn that off. Again, this has a stabilized mode. That's how I flew it. It has, you know, just like a quad, it has a six axis stabilization. Uh, then this has the video button. I can turn the video on and off through the uh, remote here. So it's a pretty, pretty nifty uh, plane. It's just a shame. It's, uh, we're getting pretty good gusts here. And uh, like I said, I, I was uh, not even thinking of flying today. I did fly my little XK600. You've seen this on several videos. This is, uh, pretty much I'm pretty used to flying this so I can fly this in winds normally you probably wouldn't want to fly in uh, it's a pretty stable flyer with the stabilization uh, as I get better on the a600 I'll fly it in manual mode where I can do stunts and loops and uh, knife edges and whatever so anyway I just want to get this video out of the uh, the spy hawk uh, again flies great but uh, because it is a, <coughs> excuse me a foamy they don't handle winds real well. I imagine even the larger, uh, the Bixlers at 1,300 millimeters and some with the two meter wingspans, they still fight the wind a little bit because they are so light, relatively light for their size. So, uh, and of course, this requires FAA registration. So I, this has my FAA registration number and the, uh, and my name of course and phone number if it does get lost, so. Uh, this is Mr. Palmer's. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you later.